morning, boys and girls. Today is Monday the 7th of December. If you've not turned in everything from last week, I want you to do so as soon as possible. We just have seven days before it's next Wednesday that we're taking the big unit test. So it's important that you keep up with the last few weeks. If you did not finish last week's stuff, it is right here. Okay, this is last week. This week, starting today, I do have a very short activity I need you to work on because I wanted to give you some time to get caught up if you need to. All right. My regular classes are having a meeting today with Kuto, but for my virtual kiddos, I kind of gave you Friday, gave you a little extra time. We played our game a little bit more so we would be ready for that quiz. So I need you to do a gizmo for me today. It's a lot of fun. You'll enjoy it. You need to go to explorelearning.com. And this is the other tab you want to keep open. There's two questions that you need to answer. Well, actually three. It says two, but here's two questions here. How are you similar to your parents? And how are you different? And that can be your physical traits. You can write about how your personalities are similar or different or your taste in food are similar or different. Um, and just your parents, just your biological parents. And then number two is says that a trait is a characteristic. Think about your physical traits. And what traits do you think you inherited or received from your parents? Well, that's kind of a trick question because you got all of those physical traits from your parents, every single one of them. And half of the information came from your mom and half of the information came from your dad. All right. And then there's a warm-up activity that I need you to do. That's the gizmo, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. It's with these fun little aliens. And then there is an activity A that you need to set up for sexual reproduction and see what aliens you are able to create and why they have that particular pattern. All right. So to go to explore learning, you should be able to go to Explore Learning and log in. You all have a login already. It's gonna look a little different. Well, it'll look pretty similar to what mine is, but your opening screen will look something like this, although it's gonna list all of these. And the one that you wanna click on is Inheritance. That's the one I want you to launch. And I'll just show you a few things that it does. You guys will figure out things pretty quick. But here we have the ability to reproduce asexually or sexually. So let's start with just a plain little critter here. Create our alien. We have lots of different sizes. We have thin, we have medium, and we have thick. All right. Then we also have some different skin colors, green, blue, and pink. So let's say I make a blue and make him medium sized. And I'm going to give them curly antenna. And this one acquired, remember acquired, a triangle tattoo sometime in its lifetime. So there's parent one. Okay. Now, if we reproduce, it's going to look identical to parent one, we would think. But there is one thing that it does not have. So it looks just like parent one, except it doesn't have a tattoo because that's not something parent one was born with. I'm going to take this little guy and put him over here. All right. And if we did this again, we'd end up with pretty much identical, same result. If we reproduced again, we would end up with pretty much the same result. Okay. So I'm going to put these guys. And let them exit. Now the other thing that you can change and manipulate is the amount of food. Right now we just have one, two, three, four, five bushes for eating. Remember we have a medium sized adult. So if I decrease the food, what do you think that's going to do? I just have one. What do you think that's going to do to the offspring? This is where we talk about environmental factors. See how much skinnier that little guy is? All right. And then if we go back up to being five and we reproduce, I think that's where we were before, we end up with one that looks just like the parent, medium size. But if we really increase the food supply and reproduce, what do we get? 
a really big thick one, okay? Because there's more food supply for the parent to eat and more food for that young one to eat. Okay, so that's very exciting, Mrs. Brockman. That's just asexual reproduction. They look just like them, except for the environment can change. What if we mated our original little dude here with an alien that is same size, but green in color, curly antenna, and we'll keep the triangle the same. So the only thing that I'm changing is the color of the skin. And let's see what the babies end up with. I'm gonna put my grasses back down to five. So we keep that the same, kind of right there in the middle. And what do we end up with? We end up with, okay, so it's got the curly antenna. It does not have a tattoo like the parents. But if you look at the offspring, they are blue and a little bit of green. Now this would tell me that blue is dominant to green because the blue is showing up a whole lot more. All right, so we're gonna put him over here. All right, what if we have another one? Is it gonna be just like that one? It's gonna be just like that one. Okay, so we're gonna put him over here. Now again, if we increase the food source and we have one, he's gonna be much as they say, thick. Yes, much thicker, all right. So you get that idea. Now, what if we took these parents and got rid of them and had this one mate with, I'll just leave him there for now, mate with um, everything the same except for pink. All right, let's see what that does. So you get the idea. You're gonna play around with this. Aha, so now the green shows up and the pink is recessive to green. Interesting. All right, so you get the idea from this as to how this works. Don't forget to answer the questions here and follow the instructions as to how you're setting things up so that you end up with this particular outcome and learn some basic concepts, okay? So that should probably take you about 20 minutes to do. So the rest of the time for today, for science, I want you to get caught up on all of your other things. By the way, if you've not taken the quiz yet, you need to take care of that today. And those of you that want to do a redo quiz, you need to stay after we're done with class, and I know who you are, and you probably know who you are, and we will work on doing a redo on the quiz from Friday. All right, thanks guys, have a great afternoon, and I will see you all tomorrow.